Hey guys, I wanted to share a story today called Snippets by Diane Alber. She wrote it and illustrated it. And if you're in my class at Reagan, you might remember we actually got to hear from Diane Alber on a video that she sent to us. So you might remember the story. It's really good. Snippets, a story about paper shapes written and illustrated by Diane Alber. This is a story about a strange little place where two shapes of paper filled up the whole space. Triangles and squares would all wait in line to make a home in the same patterned design. Each house like the other, also mundane, not a chimney, a shingle, or long window pane. Then one afternoon, after new shapes were made, a snippet showed too in an aqua blue shade, but because snippet had an oddly shaped top, he looked a bit different from a normal rooftop. He was very shy, but he wanted to play, so he asked the shapes, what are you making today? We make sturdy houses, announced the red square. Asymmetrical shapes belong right over there. Because we are different, it's best we're divided. We just can't risk having our houses lopsided. Snippet wasn't expecting to be asked to leave and was shocked that Square was being naive. He could build a strong house and be part of a pair, even though he was not like a regular Square. Not wanting to argue, he walked over to the pile and noticed each shape had a distinctive style. They were all Snippets. They were just like him. Some sides were long and some shapes were slim. He was so excited by such a surprise. There were so many shapes of irregular size. Come on, they all said, jump right into the pile. So Snippet dove in with a bright gleaming smile. And even though Snippet really loved the new space, he just couldn't forget that strange tidy place. Deep down in his heart, being divided felt wrong. He just wanted to see all the shapes get along. As he stood thinking, an idea came to mind. What if he went back and tried to be kind? To that misguided square with the perfect physique, he could show him the beauty of being unique. When Snippet arrived, Square started to grumble. Why are you back? You'll make our houses crumble. This was Snippet's big chance to make Square truly see all the wonderful things they could possibly be. Snippet pointed to the roof's acute angle and said, I could make a tall chimney on that green triangle. Snippet saw Square start it to fill up with doubt and knew it'd be best to act it all out. So he climbed on the triangle and said, how's this look? Square watched carefully, but the house never shook. It's not falling down and it doesn't look bad. In fact, it looks great. So what else can we add? Actually, said Snippet, we could add some more. There's a rectangle snippet for a fancy front door. Is it okay if I ask the pile to play too? Square happily agreed, only expecting a few, but the whole pile showed up to come over and play. And to Square's huge surprise, they had such a fun day. The houses they made had never looked so grand. It was just as wonderful as Snippet had planned. Squares, triangles, and Snippets all getting along. They'd made a great place where they all could belong. Long rectangles made houses that reached up so high, a pentagon-shaped rocket could fly in the sky, a right triangle made a red sail on a ship. It was amazing to see such close partnership. They all learned so much from each other that day that regardless of shape, they could happily play. And to think it was just one snippet's kind heart that joined them together to make such great art. The end. I love all these snippets too. So I think it'd be really fun to see what kind of snippets you guys could come up with out of different paper and what kind of pictures you came up with or turn them into little snippet characters. That could be a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the story. I love the messages behind these books and the stories are just so fun. So thanks for listening guys. Bye.